Cool TV proudly presents East Carter Raiders Baseball as the Cool Hit Sports Network brings you coverage of the Raiders live from Grayson, Kentucky. Now let's head to the field for the pregame show and East Carter Raiders Baseball live on Cool TV. Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to J.P. Coons Field, East Carter High School. The Raiders home tonight hosting the Morgan County Cougars. East Carter wins last night's uh, game at Morgan County 17-3. And hosting the Cougars tonight here at J.P. Coons Field. Glad to have you along tonight. We'll step out, take our first break, come back and look at some lineups, get things going for you. It's the Raiders and the Cougars right here on Cool TV. Hello, everyone. I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com when you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Where does your money go? When you bank with us, your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan. A real estate agent sells a house. They get a commission. They deposit it with us. We use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers. Hometown people helping each other grow. That's what it's all about. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osman Pharmacy and Grill today. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. Welcome back to East Carter High School. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups. Morgan County first, three and seven on the year. Lost last night to East Carter, seventeen to three. And uh, here we are again tonight. Starting for Morgan County, batting first going to be the pitcher number two, Prater uh, Trusty. And uh, we'll look at some stats on him on the mound. Sixteen innings on the year. He's given up twenty-two hits, nineteen runs, fifteen earned runs. Uh, he's, he's walked 15. He struck out only 11. He's 0-1 on the season, a 6.56 ERA. Uh, Parker's a leadoff hitter hitting 4-14 on the season with 12 hits and a double. Uh, batting second is Cole Adams. He's the first baseman. He's number 14, hitting 435 on the season. He's had a home run, three doubles, and uh, pounded out 10 hits. Cooper Fleming will hit third. He's the shortstop, wears number 23, 182. Average on the season with six hits. Uh, Connor Fleming will be the cleanup guy. Center fielder, number 27, hitting 313 on the year. Ten hits for him. Four big doubles on the year. Alex Lee, number 20. Right fielder, bats fifth, 227 on the year with five hits. Uh, number 21, Will Lane, the second baseman. He's DH for the DH will be number eight, Mason Gunnell. 263 on the year. With five hits. Batting seventh, left fielder, number 26, uh, May, uh, Braden Mays. And uh, 
May's going to hit 200 on the season with four hits. Ryan Legg will bat eight, the catcher number seven. And uh, he's hitting 200 on the season, four hits for that young man as well. And the ninth hitter, third baseman, number three, Grayson Hampton, hitting 121 on the year with four hits. Cougars hitting 235, I'm sorry, 238 on the season at the plate. Three and seven on the season. For the East Carter Raiders, Tate Scott will lead off hitting 471 on the season with 16 hits, a couple doubles, uh, nine stolen bases for the young man. Ty Scott by second. He's a shortstop. He's number 17, hitting 333 on the season with 11 hits and 10 RBIs. Andrew Tomalonis will hit third. He's pitching again tonight. I've seen he's played twice, and he's pitched twice. And he's hitting 353, 12 hits on the year for that young man. And uh, with a triple, looks like five doubles to go along with that. Uh, pitching stats for him, 22 innings on the year. He's given up 19 hits, 14 runs, only seven earned. He's on, walked only five, struck out 27, and he's two and two on the season with a save with an ERA of 2.19 for Andrew Tomalonis. Cleanup hitter for the Raiders, Blake Halls, the center fielder, wears number 10, hitting 407 with 11 hits on the year. Uh, he's got, looks like, four home runs, is that right? With four doubles as well. Evan Goodman. Will bat fifth, and he is the left fielder. Where's number 30? 219 on the season, seven hits with six RBIs. Jackson Barker, the catcher, where's number 45? Will bat sixth, 357 on the year with 10 hits. Uh, Gavin Sexton will bat seventh. He's the third baseman. Where's number 35? 344 hitter with 11 hits on the season. Cody Sammons bats uh, eighth and plays first base. He's number 49, a 280 hitter on the season with seven hits. And Levi Hutchison, the right fielder, wearing number 11, bats ninth, a 286 hitter with eight hits on the season. The Raiders hitting 331 as a team, eight and four on the season. They've won six out of the last seven. And we'll take another break. Come back and have the start of this game. East Carter hosting the Morgan County Cougars right here on Cool TV. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Good at Ashland Community and Technical College, this scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Fall hunting season is here. Border Sporting Goods has your best selection of Hoyt and Matthews bows as well as 10-point crossbows with a full selection of accessories for all your hunting needs. Borders also offers a full selection of shotguns and rifles with plenty of ammunition and reloading supplies along with a wide selection of benchmark and case knives. Borders is your headquarters for the largest selection of Liberty gun safes in the area no matter how big or small you need to keep your firearms safe. Before your next hunting excursion, stop by and stock up at Border Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best of around. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender.
Welcome back to East Carter High School after the National Anthem. <clears throat> Glad to have you along. Glad to have our Morgan County fans with us tonight as well. I think the last time I was here, Tom Alonis was on the mound. The catcher had problems getting the throws back to him again already. Has to be frustrating. We'll set the defense for you for the East Carter Raiders over in left field. Going to be Evan Goodman. The center fielder is going to be Blake Hall. Right field, Levi Hutchison. Over at third base, Gavin Sexton. The shortstop, Ty Scott. Second base, Tate Scott. Uh, Cody Sammons at first base. The catcher, Jackson Barker. And on the mound. Andrew Tomalonis. Morgan County going to be Parker Trusty, Cole Adams, and Cooper Fleming due up to start this ball game. Glad to have you along tonight. We'll be back here at East Carter High School, J.P. Coons Field. As East Carter hosting a district opponent. In the Morgan County Cougars. Played in Morgan County last night. Cole Adams for Morgan County was two for two last night against the East Carter Raiders. And Trusty also had two hits. He was two for three at the plate last night. One hit for Connor Fleming. He was one for two, and that was all the hitting for Morgan County last night. Now back and Parker Trusty steps to the plate here. 414, though, on the season. 12 hits for him. And Tom Alonis, he's set on the mound. Beautiful day for baseball. This one stays upstairs. For ball one. Game time weather here in Grayson. 89 degrees and kind of cloudy, but sun staying out for us. Weather being brought to you by Grayson Sporting Goods. And a strike called two and one. Spencer over at KCU tonight. KCU hosting women's softball this evening. You can see that game right here on Cool TV as well as the Raceland Rams. They're at home tonight hosting Lewis County. in a district matchup in the 63rd. This one stays up, ball four. Walk the leadoff hitter. And here comes first baseman, number 14, Cole Adams. First baseman, number 14, Cole Adams. Adams two for two last night against the Raiders. 435 on the season. Got a home run and three doubles. Tom Alonis gets a strike call. Left-handed hitter Adams. Trusty with a nice lead at first. And time called to play. Up and out. One on one. Ashland and Boyd tonight. Another big district matchup in the 64th. Here goes the runner to second. Don't think the throw is going to be in time, and it is not. A stolen base for Trusty. Two balls, one strike here on Adams. Tom Alonis looks at second, and here comes the pitch. Fouled back to the screen and even things out at two and two. Tom Malone is in the stretch and the hitter calls time. We're ready to go again. Here comes the pitch. 
popped up and out of play. Oh, that got something. I've got two foul ball dents in my car, both from East Carter. Strike three called in a good looking pitch. Strikeout number one of the day. Shortstop number 23, Cooper Fleming. And uh, I think that's 28 now on the season for Tom Malonis. Checking his second base, and he'll come plateward. Swung on and missed. Strike one. This is Cooper Fleming. The shortstop, a 182 hitter. And a strike across the letters, 0 and 2. Six hits on the year for Fleming. Way ahead here is Tom Malonis. He has a sign. He'll look back at second. Trusty, not too far off the bag. And that was close. A little high when it maybe come across, but one and two. Swung on and missed, blew that by. Two out, second strikeout. The center fielder, number 20. The game for, for, uh, Tom Malonis, 29th of the season now. Two outs, one on for Morgan. Leadoff hitter walked, and here comes the pitch. Just missed inside. Looked good. That looked good spot. <clears throat> Swung on and missed. Went on, went at one outside, one and one now. Tom Malonis looks at second a couple times. He'll come plateward and a called strike. He's looking good. 313 on the year is Fleming with 10 hits. Here comes the one and two. Swung on and missed strike three. And that's it for Morgan County. They get uh, no runs on no hits. And they leave one on. Top of the first inning, Morgan County. Four, four guys up. Three straight strikeouts after that leadoff walk. East Carter coming to bat here on Cool TV. J.D. Flooring 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat J.D. Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call J.D. Flooring and Greenup 606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring, 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back to East Carter High School. Let's set the defense for you for Morgan County. Out in left field, going to be Braden Mays. The center fielder is Connor Fleming. Out in right field, Alex Lee, the third baseman, is uh, going to be Grayson Hampton. At shortstop is Cooper Fleming. The second baseman is Will Lane. The first baseman is Cole Adams. And the catcher, Ryan Legg. The man on the mound, Parker Trusty. Trusty, 16 innings on the season, 20, giving up 22 hits, 19 runs. 15 of those were earned. 15 walks and 11 strikeouts on the season, 0-1 on the year. He's 6.56 ERA. 
And here comes Tate Scott to the plate, the second baseman. Good leadoff hitter. And a 471 hitter on the season for East Carter so far. Has found eight wins on the season. Looking for nine to nine. Kind of floats out there and misses. He better be careful floating that out there like that. Here comes the 1-0. Hit hard. He floated another one and going back, 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 back. And at the base of the fence, drops in and a stand-up double for Tate Scott. The Raiders, the shortstop number 17. I said he better not float one over there again. And he did. And he crushed it right at the base of the three, whatever that is, 340. Out there in center field, he crushed it. His third double of the season. Here comes Ty Scott to the plate, the shortstop. Strike called. 333 on the season with 11 hits. He's walked nine times. With 10 RBIs, swung on and fouled back to the screen. That was headed right for the traverse on the hill, I'm afraid. The screen saved me. Definitely. 0-2 oh, count here on Ty Scott. <clears throat> Trusty looking at second. Now coming plateward, and this one stays upstairs. East Carter all white tonight, trimmed in that blue. Really nice looking uniform. Morgan County gray pants and gold shirts trimmed in their blue. Swung on, driven down the line, down the left field line. That's going to be in there. One run is going to score, and Ty Scott's on his way to second. With back-to-back -back stand up doubles from the Scott boys. For the the pitcher, number three, Andrew but Ty Scott gets his double with an RBI. His 11th RBI the season. As Tate Scott scores from second, it's one to nothing. Back-to-back -back pretty hard hit balls. Swung on, hit hard, right side, going to fall down the gap, I believe. And on his way to second is going to be Andrew Tomalonis. And we're going to have back-to-back-to-back -back -back doubles for the East Carter Raiders. As Tomalonis crushed one, right center field, nobody was going to get to that. He gets a double with an RBI. Two to nothing. Ooh. Yeesh. On three hard hit balls, back to back to back doubles to start this ball game for East Carter. Blake Hall, center fielder, 407 on the season, found it out 11 hits. Trusty checking at second base. Hall ropes one to center field, going to bounce right in front of the center fielder, and that's going to be enough. Oh, I thought he was going to score, but he didn't. Give him a single. First pitch, nailed it up the middle. And Evan Goodman steps to the plate, and he's the left fielder. 219 on the season, seven hits, looking for hit number eight here. Krusty comes set, and he'll come plateward. This one's roped down the left field line. He, he roped that one. Should be on his way to second, never stopping it at uh, first. And a stand-up double for Evan Goodman. He roped one down the left field line, give him a double and an RBI. No question about that one. And Jackson Barker will come to the plate. He's the catcher. Hit him. Well, he didn't get a hit. He got hit, didn't he? For the the third you know you guys would have done the same thing when you four doubles. You're going to hit somebody, aren't you? Huh? I know you are, Tom Alonis, for sure. And Goodman, too. They got to kind of slow down the, the doubles a little bit. Bases loaded here. Nobody out for East Carter. 
Fouls this one off left side's Gavin Sexton. Sexton, a 344 hitter on the season for the East Carter Raiders. East Carter's really playing well. They've won the last six out of seven coming out of Coco Expo. Spring training, they're really rolling here. Swung on, popped up, and out of play. Kind of a check swing. And East Carter really cruising here in the bottom of the first inning with four doubles. Swung on, fouled at the plate. He went after a low pitch. Gavin is anxious to swing the bat, it looks like. Krusty swung on, hit hard to center field. They may be uh, out, and that's going to be a sacrifice because a runner from third will score no trouble. And Blake Hall scoring from third base on a sacrifice fly with an RBI. You'll trade an out for a run any day of the week. Still two on and only one out here in the bottom of the first inning, and that's going to bring up Cody Sammons, the first baseman. 280 on the season. Seven hits for this young man. And down goes Barker to second base. Runners at second and third. One out. Four to nothing, East Carter. Swung on, missed, one and one. A little ahead of that one. Levi Hutchinson on deck. Trusty, he's rocking and he'll come to the plate and this one's down low. Two and one. Trusty just misses. Three and one. Three balls and a strike, and here comes the pitch. Strike called right down the heart of the plate. That ball had hit me, wrote on it. Three balls, two strikes. Here comes. The pitch swung on and missed strike three. Trusty's first strike out of the game is, I think that's his 12th strike out of the season. Levi Hutchison steps up to the plate. Right fielder wears number 11. Two outs now. Swung on, hit to right field. That ball is right to the right fielder, and the right fielder makes the catch. And that is the ninth batter of the inning. And that's it for the East Carter Raiders. They get four on, uh, looks like, one, two, three, four, five hits, four doubles. And they leave two. And after one, it's East Carter four, Morgan County nothing on Cool TV. <laughs> Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporty Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size, with a wide selection of tackle for Bird Loop, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Border Sporty Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of Eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. Back at East Carter High School, glad to have you along. Lots of baseball going on around the Commonwealth tonight. Boyd County hosting Ashland. One score in already, actually three scores in. DeSales 
over Louisville Doss, 15 to nothing. Greenup County over Russell, 9 to 3. And West Jesmond over uh, Virgin, 19 to 1. Ashland at Boyd, Augusta at Mason tonight. Uh, Bath at Round County. Betsy Lane is at Lawrence County. Bluegrass United Home School is at Fleming County tonight. Oh, it's a baseball action. This one's popped up and out of play. This is Alex Lee at the plate for the Cougars. Morgan County, of course, here. And this one's fouled out of play. Middlesboro playing Harlan County this evening. The Yellow Jackets always had a great, great team and strike three for Alex Lee. Tom Malonis records his fourth strike out of the night. That'll bring the D.H. Mason Gunnell. Mason Gunnell. We told you that uh, Lewis County Raceland was supposed to play at Lewis, but Lewis asked to play at Raceland tonight. Such a nice place to play. Paris hosting Montgomery this evening, and this one's hit up and out of play. Fletcher County hosting Pike County Central this evening. Up in the 15th region. Fair views at West Carter tonight. No balls, two strikes here on the D.H. Mason Gunnell. He's a 263 hitter. One and two now. Five hits on the season for Wheel. Tom Malonis has the sign, and he's rocking plate board, and this one's fouled back to the screen. <clears throat> J.P. Coonsfield, state champs in 1984. Here at East Carter High School. Strike three called right on the inside corner and a good looking pitch. Fifth strike out, fifth strike out in a row for Tom Malonis. 32nd strike out of the season. He walked the leadoff hitter, Trusty, and then it's been nothing but K's in the scorebook. He struck the last five in a row out. This is the number seven hitter in the lineup. Third this inning, Braden Mays, the left fielder, hitting 200. Here comes the 2-0. Swung on and hit fouled. Left side. One ball, one strike, swung on, fouled out of play. I was talking to a coach from the 63rd today. Russell, I heard, was due to host the 16th region. I think they're trying to get that move to Raceland High School. That's what I heard. One ball, two strikes, fouled up and out of play. But I heard it was Russell's turn, so we'll have to work that out with the Red Devils probably. Raceland with their brand new turf field. Really nice. Two balls, two strikes. The Rams playing very well this season. 17 and 3 or 17 and 2 or something like that. Hit to third base. He'll pick it up and make the play at first, and that's it for Morgan County. It's a textbook play. Off the chest, stay with it, and a good throw over. And that's it for Morgan County. They get no runs, no hits, no runners left on. Going in the bottom of the second, it's East Carter 4, Morgan County nothing. On the Cool Hit Sports Network. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. 
Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb drives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. Welcome back to East Carter High School. Four to nothing. East gets four in the first inning. They played at nine, so they'll be back up to the top of the order. East Carter with nine hits last night against Morgan County. Pounded out 17 runs. Tate Scott was three for three last night. Tom Alonis was one for one at the plate. Blake Hall was one for one. Now batting for the Raiders, the second baseman, number 16. Looks like Burton was one for one last night. Pennington was one for one last night as well. Nine hits last night for the Raiders. Tate Scott let off with a double last inning. I bet they don't float one. Across the end of the plate this time. Oh, they did. <laughs> and that's hit pretty hard down, down the left field line on his way to second for his second double of the night. That was right out there the where he was wanting it. They did, didn't they? And he put it right down the line to left field. Second double of the night, he's two for two. Ty Scott comes up. He had a double last inning. Shortstop. 333 on the season. He was must have been hitless last night against Morgan County. Let's see here. He only got one at bat. And he probably walked. He walked twice. This one's Struggles. comes down the left field line. Couldn't get to it. Looked to me like it hit off of his glove. Probably going to be an error on the left fielder. You guys give him a hit or an error. Air. We're, we're going to say air. I mean, it looked like to me it come off right the side of his glove. He made it over there. I want to say air. I mean, if he came a long way and just couldn't make a play on it, but he actually got over there. So two on, nobody out for the East Carter Raiders. And Andrew Tom Malonis. Strike called, making it one and one. Well, he doubled in the first inning with an RBI and a strike called one and two. Okay. 353 hitter on the season. He's got 13 hits now. And here comes the pitch. Swung on, driven down the right side. You're going to stay fair. It's going to be foul out of play. Nice sized young man, Andrew Tom Alonis. Right handed hitter. Here comes the one and two. Stays up two and two. I'd keep it up there. Trusty. He he might have balked. Yeah. And he he started and stopped is what he did. Got that on replay. Maybe you can zoom in on him. You can see when he started into his windup, missed it. He kind of stuttered a little bit. Yeah. 
and you can't stop once you start. Pop this one up in the infield. First baseman has a beat on it. First base coach getting out of the way and makes the catch, and there's one away. Now batting the center fielder, number 10, Blake Paul. Five to nothing now. One out is the good news for Morgan County, and Blake Hall comes to the plate is the bad news for the Cougars. Center fielder is one for one singled in the first inning. This is the cleanup guy. One to know. Ty Scott down at third. Here comes the pitch. And this one stays, oh, strike called. And last time I said don't throw that again, you don't remember what happened. So I don't think I'd put it there again. Swung on and missed, and he didn't. So there you go. One ball, two strikes. Here comes the pitch, swung on and missed. Strike three, went chasing for one. It's outside, two outs. Second strike out of the night for, for Trusty. He's got two away now. Fifth hitter in the lineup, Evan Goodman steps to the plate. He doubled with an RBI last inning. If you got a hit the first inning, there's a good chance you got a double. Swung on and hit to the third baseman on the ground. They'll make the play at first. The throw over is in time. A good catch by the first baseman scooping that. And that's it for the Raiders. Not before they get one run on, looks like, one hit. They leave one, and they was one Morgan County air. After two, it's East Carter five, Morgan County nothing. On Cool TV. KSP Industrial Solutions, Inc. is owned and managed by Shane Wallingford to be a solutions provider for manufacturers tailoring to their specialized needs. It was created with the vision that good communication among all parties will provide the best answer to the problem. From ball mills used in pulverization to custom design of equipment or components, JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. will gladly work with clients to resolve the issues that are prevalent. Their vision is to make your project their successful business. JSB Industrial Solutions, Solutions, Tollsboro, Kentucky. Rev up your autumn adventure and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. Make a pit stop and treat yourself to our assortment of snacks and drinks. Clark's Pump and Shop has the perfect treats to satisfy your fall cravings. From our seasonal lattes and iced coffees to specialty donuts and desserts. Don't just fuel up your vehicle, fuel your taste buds at Clark's Pump and Shop, your ultimate road companion. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Welcome back to East Carter High School. J.P. Coonsfield, five to nothing. East Carter. Now, Top of the third the inning, we go. The catcher, Ryan Leg. Ryan Leg, the catcher, leads things off for Morgan County. Here, he's the eighth hitter in the lineup. He'll lead things off here in the third to two hundred hitter. Four hits. On the season. This one stays up. Two balls, two strikes here on leg. Swung on and foul tipped and strike three. I'm batting third baseman number three, Grayson Hampton. Six strike out of the evening for Tom Alonis. Grayson Hampton will step up now. He's a third baseman hitting 121 on the season. This one swung on and hit out of play to right side.
fouled back to the screen. 0-2. Oh Swung on, hit pretty good to center field. Center fielder right there to make the catch. And there's two away. Pitcher, number two, Parker Trusty. <clears throat> Parker Trusty steps back to the plate. He walked in the first inning. Oh, the, this one's called strike. Did you say your district's a Morgan? That's a long way to go. 0 oh, and 1. Here comes the pitch. Of course, if you're if you're Morgan County, you know this. You know they come out to play every year. So and a strike called. What a great thing at Boyd County tonight in lieu of. Admission to the Ashton Boyd County game tonight. They're taking donations for Ty Thomas. So instead of paying again for the Boyd County Ashton game at Boyd tonight, you just make a donation to Ty Thomas and everything goes to that family. We want to say we want to wish him and his family the, the very, very best. And here comes the one and two, and this one's inside. And he was leaving. And I don't blame him. He's got a pitch. Swung on, foul at the play. Trusty hanging tough. 414 on the season. He can hit 12 hits on the season. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Nobody on. Tom Malonis. This one stays out. Three and two. This one's hit out to the shortstop. He'll gobble it up, throw it over, and it's going to be safe and an error on the throw. In time, he'd have been out. Now batting first baseman, number 14, Cole Adams. So Trusty's on with an error on the shortstop on the throw. And Tom Alonis, first pitch strike to Cole Adams. And this one misses up, up and out. One ball, one strike here to Adams, a 435 hitter. One on and two outs to throw back to first base is close. Gets away from the first baseman and off to second is Trusty. Another error. So Trusty down at second base, two outs from Oregon County and Big Cole Adams at the plate. Left-handed hitter. And inside. Almost got him. Tom Malonis looks a couple times out at second. Swung on and missed. Makes it two and two. Two outs, five to nothing, East Carter. And this one swung and hit out to the second baseman. He'll gobble it up and throw over routine and made it look easy. And that's it for Morgan County here in the third. They get no runs on no hits. They leave one, and they was two East Carter errors. Going in the bottom of the third, it's East Carter five, Morgan County nothing on Cool TV. 
Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osman Pharmacy and Grill today. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Welcome back to East Carter High School. Glad to have you along. My good buddy, uh, Jeff Irwin, our game engineer producer here tonight. Appreciate him so very much. He makes things so easy. Hospitality here at East Carter is always fantastic. We appreciate Coach Brandon Baker, athletic director, and everybody here. Coach Shear and all the assistants, the press box staff. Always takes care of us here at East Carter High School. It's a fun place to come and and do a game. Come back with the Raiders to catcher number 45, Jackson Barker. Jackson Barker steps to the plate. He's 0 for 0 tonight. He got a hit by a pitch in the first inning. 357 on the season. He's Carter coming back from their spring break trip to Coco Expo. You all like Coco Expo? Is that pretty cool? Is that pretty cool down there? Yeah. Did they not play at the complex? You guys play a different field every night? Uh, really? 2-0. and And the pitch, and I called strike, two and one. Barker, Sexton, and Sammons do up this inning. Driven hard to center field, right to him. He just took a couple steps. Barker lines out to the center fielder to start this inning, and that's going to bring up Gavin Sexton to the plate. Upstairs, one and zero. Sexton, a three forty four hitter, eleven hits. I believe he had a sacrifice fly RBI last at bat. Five to nothing, one out, nobody on here for East in the bottom of the third inning. Swung on, hit right side. Right fielder, I believe, has a beat on that one. He couldn't. Did he get to it? No, he did not get to it. We come up with it in his right hand. If I'd have been him, I'd have stuck that in my glove real fast. And but a single for Saxton, nonetheless. In the scorebook, it looks like a line drive single. Decent lead at first for Sexton. And a strike called. Cody Salmons. He pronounced that Salmons or Salmons? Salmons. His name is Kirby. Kirby? Kirby? Kirby's like a bad female. Oh. 
Did you not see last inning? That was a bad throw. He didn't have the air. It was on the throw. And Kirby lines down first base right to the first baseman for an out. That he hit that ball hard. Off to second goes Sexton. Kirby. I got to remember that. Kirby, the first baseman. I like that. And that'll bring up Levi Hutchinson. And the first one's outside. Five to nothing in Boyd County. Boyd County over Ashland early in the ball game. And this one's lined right back up the middle. That'll probably score a run. And he's going to wave him in. Center fielder just getting to the ball and the throw in. And uh, Sexton scores easily from second. And Hutchison gets his first hit of the ball game with an RBI. That puts East Carter back up to the top of their lineup. Six to nothing here. And Tate Scott comes to the plate. He is two for two tonight with two doubles. And two runs scored, and he's killed the ball twice. Huge lead at first base for Hutchison. I guess he's probably going right here. There he goes. Swung on, hit hard, trailing away from the center fielder, but floating over to get it. Over his head, he, he couldn't see it, didn't get to it. I don't know, but but uh, standing on second base again is Tate Scott with a... Did he drop that? I, did he get up? That's a double with an RBI. I thought he was camping under it, but it was behind him. So a double for Tate Scott, that's three. His second RBI, his first RBI of the night. And there's two runs in, seven to nothing. Right side popped up, right fielder. He's going to run over and make the catch, and that's going to do it for Ty Scott. And the East Carter Raiders here in the third. But not before the Raiders get two more runs on one, two, three hits, three more hits. And they leave one on base. After three complete, it's East Carter 7, Morgan County nothing on Cool TV. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around where does your money go when you bank with us your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan a real estate agent sells a house they get a commission they deposit it with us we use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers hometown people helping each other grow that's what it's all about first in people's bank and trust company member FDIC we are the home office Welcome back to East Carter High School, seven to nothing off nine hits. Tom Malone is out top of the fourth inning here. He's going to face three, four, and five hitters right in the meat of the lineup here for Morgan County. Going to be Fleming, Cooper Fleming, Connor Fleming, and Alex Lee. Do up. They come in, talk to the pitcher here, get things started. The flip from Kirby, the first baseman to the pitcher, and we're ready to go. And a strike calls. Tom Malone starts off with a strike. Cooper Fleming. 
struck out in the first inning. One and one the count now. 182 on the season. Six hits on the year. Seven, eight strikeouts now. And the pitch swung on and missed. Here comes a 3-2 swung and fouled back against the screen. Pops this one up and out of play. First inning, Morgan County plated four. Three up, three down the second. Had four hitters in the third. And strike three called. For the yeah, Cooper Fleming, I don't Fleming. think he appreciated that call or something. I don't know. Looked pretty good. Close enough for two strikes, right? Swung on, hit pretty hard. That's going to go to the center fielder and right out to uh, Paul out there. The Honor right Fleming out. lines out to the center fielder. And Alex Lee will step to the plate here with two outs. Eight to nothing Boyd at the end of three at Addington Field. Get you an update on the Raceland Ram game here in just a moment. Swung on and missed. He was late on that one. One ball, one strike. Lee, a 227 hitter on the season for Morgan County. Three wins on the season at three and seven coming into tonight's game. East Carter really rolling out some wins. They are won the last six out of seven. And I think East Carter and Raceland play this week. Friday, Boyd. Swung on and hit to the third baseman. He'll gobble it up, throw over in the dirt, but Kirby dug it out at first base. And that ends the inning for Morgan County on a good dig by East Carter's first baseman. For Morgan County, they get no runs on no hits. They leave no one on. Going in the bottom of the fourth is East Carter 7, Morgan County nothing on Cool TV. Primary Plus is celebrating 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With over 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and our patients. The Primary Plus name means primary care plus so much more. Offering extended services such as women's health, pediatrics, dental, counseling, diabetes management, infusion services, and on-site pharmacy that offers free delivery. Primary Plus believes in connecting health care for you and your family and is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Good at Ashland Community and Technical College, this scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Welcome back to East Carter High School. Bottom of the fourth inning we go. Seven to nothing, East Carter. Three, four, five hitters due up for East right in the meat of their order. Tom Alonis, Hall, and Goodman. How about it for the Raiders to pitcher number three, Andrew Tom Alonis? Here's 
Rusty, he's ready. Delivers to Tom Alonis, and I think it hit him. Maybe not. Didn't miss him too much. Want to know? Rope down the left field line. That's going to go all the way to the corner. And rounding sec uh, first on his way to second is Tom Alonis with a leadoff double. Field, his second eight. of the ball game. He roped one in the first inning and nailed that one down the line. East Carter. That is four. Five. That's the sixth double tonight. I don't know what the record is. Blake Hall. Pops this one up about a mile high. Catcher has a beat on it in foul territory. That's going to be a tough play. He can't get to it. It was almost fair. If it had hit him. That was a tough, tough play. He did everything he could. Got rid of the mask. Tried to find it. It was a high pop-up. Foul ball and one. Blake Hall gets another chance. He went fishing for one last time outside, struck out. The 407 hitter for East Carter. Trusty looking at second. This one's outside, way outside. And it's one and one. I don't think so. Through three, I don't think she has. One ball, one strike, swung on and missed. One and two. He was way off of that. One ball, two strikes. One on for East. Tom Alonis led off with a double. This one's hit harder the shortstop. He makes a play at it. And knocked it down, but couldn't pick it back up in time. And safe at first is Blake Hall. And that's an error on the shortstop. Raceland leads Lewis County 4-1. to one. Looks like that's in the top of the third inning. So two on, nobody out here for East. Evan Goodman roped in the hole left side, gets to the left fielder on his way home is Tom Alonis and uh, the courtesy runner for him scores, and it's an eight to nothing ball game. Goodman picks up his second hit of the night. Give him another RBI. He's got two tonight. And Jackson Barker hits one left side, and left fielder didn't have a clue. He just turned around and started running towards the fence, waving, waving uh, Hall home. And a third goes Goodman, stand-up double for Barker. He nailed it. Left fielder never saw it. He just took off to the fence. No batting. The third baseman, number 35, Gavin Sexton. And it's nine to nothing. Gavin Sexton comes to the plate, and the catcher says, time out. Let's talk to Trusty here. Two runs in, nine to nothing. Runners at second and third, nobody out. And Gavin Sexton at the plate. He's one for one tonight. Sacrifice fly with an RBI in the first and scored it. Singled and scored in the third. Here comes the pitch, and this one's inside and a good stop by the catcher. Now 
This one's hit pretty hard right to the third baseman. Lines right out to the third baseman. Everybody's back safe. Sexton hit that hard for the first out of the inning. Here comes Cody Kirby Salmons. Oh, and two on the evening, grounded out to second and struck out in the first. He's due. Ducks on the pond here for Kirby. 280 on the season, looking for hit number eight here. And might score, it'll score one, maybe two. And this one misses one and one. One ball, one strike. Swung on and ropes this one in center field. One run is in. He'll go ahead and wave in another one. And the first baseman give him a single with two RBIs. I'm adding the right fielder, number 11, Levi Hutchinson. So Goodman comes in and scores, and so does Barker. Four runs in, makes it 11 to nothing ball game. And here comes a pitch swung on and hit to the shortstop. He'll go to second for out number one. No way at first base. And Hutchison gets a fielder's choice. The outs at second. And there's two away. Gets East Carter back up to the top of the order to Tate Scott, who is three for three today with three doubles. Number nine, Caleb Wayne. Well, it's not going to be Scott. It's going to be a pinch hitter. They tell me it's Cody Lane. He's pinch hitting here in the fourth. Well, maybe he's not. Who's this? Now number 19, Blake Burton. Blake Burton? Blake Burton. Okay. Blake Burton. He was one for one last night. He'll be hitting here in Tate Scott's place. I'm sure Tate Scott will re-enter. 1-0. and oh. Burton, a left-handed hitter. Swung on and missed. 1-1. One and one. And this one's hit to the first baseman. He'll step on the bag, and that'll be it for East Carter here in the fourth. Not before the Raiders tack on four more runs on one, two, three, four more hits. They leave one on. At the end of four, it's East Carter 11. Morgan County nothing back in a moment on Cool TV. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. Welcome back to East Carter High School. Top of the fifth we go. 11 to nothing here. East Carter. Tom Alonis on the mound and going to be six, seven, and eight hitters. Really right where he, he wants to be. 
Morgan County DH here. Mason Gunnell will lead things off for the Cougars. This one misses down low. 1-0. 263 on the season for the DH. He's looking for hit number six of the season. 1-0. Here comes Tom Alonis. Just took a little bit off of that one and strike called. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. This one misses. Big thanks to Brian and all the guys at Papa John's Pizza this evening. Bring us out dinner before the game here. Appreciate that so very much. Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza. That's Papa John's. Better get you some. Hard hit ball, center field going backpedaling is Hall, and he'll make the catch, and there's one away. Now batting the left fielder, number 26, Brayden Mays. Here comes the pitch, swung on and missed, strike one. This is Braden Mays, the left fielder. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Grounded out to third base. The third, and this one's hit foul, 0 and 2. 200 on the season. Four hits and 12 strikeouts. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Stays it way up. 1 and 2. Here comes the pitch. This one swung on, hit foul down the third baseline. And Tom Malonis is right back on the mound, wasting no time. Here comes the one and two upstairs. Swung on and missed, strike three. That is now batting the catcher number seven, Ryan Leg. Eight strikeout of the ball game. Two away here in the top of the fifth inning. East Carter looking for one more out for a mercy rule game in five. And this one's hit right back up the pitcher. Tom Alonis will make the grab throw over, and that's it. And a no hitter for Tom Alonis. And the East Carter Raiders, and he did it in convincing fashion. Hard hit ball back up the middle by leg. He got the got the ball and made the throw over. And congratulations, Andrew Tom Alonis, on a no-hitter tonight versus Morgan County as the Cougars get no runs on no hits and leave nobody on. East Carter wins 11 to nothing, Mercy in five, and a no-hit shutout by Andrew Tom Alonis. We'll come back and have more for you from East Carter High School on the Cool Hit Sports Network. Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporty Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size with a wide selection of tackle from Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities Builders. BuildersInc.com. J.D. Flooring, 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years, featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat J.D. Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call J.D. Flooring and Greenup. 
606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring, 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back to East Carter High School. Big win for East tonight over district rival Morgan County. 11 to nothing final score for Morgan County. They get no runs on no hits. They leave three and had one air tonight. Nine strikeouts for Andrew Tomalonis. Shutout baseball is not too shabby. Uh, East Carter improves to nine and four on the season. They've won the last seven out of eight. East had 11 runs on 13 hits, left five runners on base, committed two errors. Tate Scott was three for three at the plate with three doubles. What a great night for that young man with an RBI. He scored twice. Uh, and Ty Scott ended up one for three tonight. He had a double with an RBI. A hard hit ball to left field, ruled an error. Uh, Andrew Tomalonis was two for three tonight. With two doubles and two run scores with an RBI, Blake Hall ended up one for three tonight uh, with a hit. Looks like Evan Goodman ended up uh, two for three tonight, a double single with a couple RBIs. Jackson Barker was one for two tonight uh, with an RBI and a double. Uh, Gavin Sexton was one for two tonight uh, with an RBI. Uh, Cody uh, Salmons. They tell me to call him Kirby for some reason. I, I don't know. Uh, but uh, Salmons ends up one for three tonight. Levi Hutchison was one for three tonight. Big big run night, big hit night for the Raiders. Six or seven uh, doubles on the night. So uh, got some guys to talk to. Coach, you want to talk first? Yeah. We'll, we'll let him, Coach, uh, Sheer get on with us, and we'll get him out of here so he can go do whatever he needs to do. Big win tonight, Coach, for the East Carter Raiders district opponent. You you have a no-hit shutout a night where the Raiders really hit the ball. Yeah, definitely. You know, we talked about pregame, about coming out in uh, these district games. You want to set the tone early. You want to come out and, uh, you know, score runs early. We put four up there in the first. That chance to put even more up, left some runners on there. But uh, really liked our approach to plate. We came out. Uh, we stayed back on curveballs. You know, he was kind of an off-speed pitcher, and we uh, barreled a lot of balls up and found gaps. 28 runs and two nights, coach, against yeah. the district opponents, pretty good. Yeah, it makes you feel good, you know, going uh, going forward. And, uh, you know, we're starting to get in a rhythm, I think. It's, you know, for us, it still feels early, but I know it's midseason here. But uh, I feel like we're just now getting in a groove, just now getting a little rhythm going to our game. And, uh, you know, the bats are starting to heat up. The weather is heating up here, and that helps a lot, too. So, uh, you know, I like, I like where we're at right now. Uh, district games, you play them back-to-back. I guess you set that up that way, right? Yeah, we've been in it for a few years now, back-to-back uh, -back games with all your district components on Mondays and Tuesdays. And so, uh, you know, we like the way it works out. It kind of takes away the advantage. If you have just one pitcher, uh, you know, you do see him both times. So this way you kind of, you know, you got to have a little deeper staff and a little more postseason feel to it. Coach, tell us about what's next. Who you, who you play next? We have uh, – we got Boyd County coming in here on Friday and Mason County on Saturday. So two two really good teams. Uh you know, I have to bounce back, be ready to play, and uh, be a good test for us. Boyd leads Ashland 8-1 to one in the fourth at the moment. But uh, yeah. So you got Boyd County on Friday and then, Ma then Mason County after that. Coach, uh, got to be happy with your pitcher tonight. No hit shutout. Any, any time of the season is great, but against the district, uh, really good. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, you know we're, we're really confident when Andrew's on the mound, and uh, he's threw a lot of big games for us the last four years. And you know, I just told him about the outfield. He really didn't have his best stuff tonight, but uh, he showed what kind of you know mentality he has. He gutted through it and you know, hit spots, got his curveball over when he needed to, and so uh, just kind of took care of business. Yeah, six or seven doubles this evening. You really swung yeah. the bat good. Your guys, your guys don't get cheated a lot to play. No, no, we had, we had good approaches tonight. You know, we. we I kind of got upset there down south. We took some pitches uh, with runners on base and scoring position, got in some holes. We kind of talked about that, and I think tonight we really showed that we uh, had a different attitude, different approach. Coach, you, you've been doing the head coaching thing for 20 years. 
24 years in high school baseball, yeah. you've had some really good teams out here. How do yeah. you rank this team with, with your teams the last 24 years? Wow. Uh, you know, we, we've had some good teams, you know, uh, that, I've never started nine seniors. It's the first time I've started nine seniors. And mm. this, this group's close knit, probably the most close knit group I've ever coached. Um, uh, you know, enjoy being around those guys. They enjoy being around each other. And, uh, I think they're right there in the top three or four teams I've coached here at East Carter. You know, coach Sexton and I talk about this all the time. He's been with me all 20 years and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we've had some good players come through, but this group is, uh, they're right there with them. Coach, thanks for talking to us. Appreciate you. Congratulations. You'll find win number nine in convincing fashion. We'll talk to a couple of your players, okay? Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. All righty. Head coach Jeremiah Shear with the East Carter Raiders, and we're going to talk to, uh, uh, which 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 one are you? Tate. 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 Okay, Tate. Yes, sir. Uh, Tate, it's good to see. It's good to get to talk to you. I, I don't know if we've ever spoken before, but. I have sponsored you and everything you've sold here at East Carter High School. Yeah, I appreciate that. I know that. And uh, your dad and I probably spent more time together for 18 straight years than he probably saw his mom and dad. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but uh, your father, let me brag on him just a second. In my opinion, Brian could coach anywhere he wanted to at the head coaching level in high school ball, but he sacrificed that so he could watch his boys play baseball here at East Carter High School. And I just... I thank your dad and your mom and your 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 grandparents. What what a great family you mm-hmm. you are blessed, son. Yep, it, it does mean a lot. It does mean a lot. Uh, you had a pretty good game to play tonight. Three doubles. You let off the game and and you 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 just crushed that one. You got up in the second, and crushed another one, and then again in the third. Tell us about at the plate. Uh, you don't get cheated a lot to play. Uh, no, I just go up there with a really simple mindset. Uh, just see and hit it, really, because uh, when you start to overcomplicate, overcomplicate things, that's uh, really when things go south. And, uh, yeah, just seeing it well right now and just trying to continue to do the things that we're doing right now. Mid-season, Coach uh, Shear said it seems like it's still early, but kind of in the mid-season here, what do you think about the East Carter Raiders 9-4 and four on the season? Uh, I think we're in a really good spot, and I agree with Coach. Uh, yeah, I feel like we're uh, starting to get into the groove of things. It does feel really early, but uh, I like the direction we're going in right now. Uh, you know, your your team really, really plays hard. Uh, you, just looking down through the lineup, uh, uh, Andrew Tomalonis, I thought he pitched a great game. You guys helped him out a couple times on defense and made some good plays and and just really behind your pitcher, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, when Andrew's on the mound, that's where we're most confident. Uh, you know, we're just uh, trying to go out there and make plays for him because uh, you we know he's going to go out there and go and compete. Tough game on Friday night. You're going to host. Uh, do, you, do you do you play here? Yeah, we play here. You, you host the number one team in the state. Last I looked, uh, Boyd County's playing really well. And just how do you prepare for a big game on Friday night? Uh, just same thing. Uh, the same mindset we've been going in every game. Really, just go out there, have fun, have a good time, and. Uh, just uh, don't worry about the results, but just go out there, play hard, and have fun. Tate, thanks for talking to me, buddy. It, guys. And, and it's nice to nice to finally meet you, yep, okay? You too. Appreciate it. All right. Tate Scott with East Card. Going to talk to Andrew Tomalonis, the guy that had the, the no-hitter tonight, no-hit shutout. Did you think you had a no-hit shutout in you tonight? I wasn't really feeling it this morning. To be honest, after I woke up, I was like, uh, I think I can go out there and pitch. Yeah. And I know no matter what, my team's got my back out there, so I just – Put it down the middle and they'll be there. Andrew, if you get that feeling again, that's a good sign. Have a, that that bad feeling go with it. No hit shutouts don't happen a whole lot, and to do it against a district opponent uh, like Morgan County is uh, is something that you're going to remember the rest of your life. Yes, yes, it is. I, I noticed when I, I I was here the the first game with you, I yelled at you. You or we was talking. I said you you feel like throwing strikes tonight. You said yes. The first batter of the first game that I saw you pitch, you you do you feel like in that game and also tonight's game, you may have overthrown to the first hitter. You seem like you settled down really quickly both times. Talk about that with us. Well, I normally just have a – when I go out there, I'm trying to, at the beginning of the game, just try to pound the strike zone, and then later in the game I'll just be settling where I need to be and – I just lock in. Yeah, yeah. You you threw the ball very well tonight. Your locations was fantastic. 
And uh, do, do you guys, does the coaches call the pitches or the catcher do, do that? Coach Sexton does down there. I'm, and then I shake them off most of the time. Do you? Uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm surprised Coach Sexton lets you shake him off. But it's good that he believes in you enough that you feel like maybe you could throw something else, right? The last few innings, he told me and Jackson, he said for us to just go out there and call what we feel comfortable with because my off speed really wasn't there tonight. And whenever it was there, then that's where it was helping the most. Uh, your pitching here for East Carter has been very well. I'll, I'll ask you the same question. Coach Shear said, still feels like it's kind of early. It's it's really kind of mid-season. Uh, you are 3-2 and two on the season with the save. You pitched you know, 22 innings plus tonight. Uh, you're throwing the ball really well. What do you have to do to stay focused the rest of the season? Just not try to overdo it and just don't look past a team and don't look under a team because you never know what they're going to come out with, and you just have to try to come out with your best pitches every game. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, buddy, thanks for talking to us. Great to meet you, and just keep up the good work and go Raiders. I appreciate it. All Great right. To meet you. Andrew Tom Alonis, no hit shutout tonight. Let's take a break. We'll come back and wrap things up from East Carter High School. The Raiders win big over Morgan County 11 to nothing. Andrew Tom Alonis pitches a no hit shutout right here on Cool TV. Hello everyone, I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporty Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size with a wide selection of tackle for Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. Back at East Carter High School, wrapping it up. East Carter wins big, 11 to nothing over Morgan County. Talk to Coach Shear, talk to two players. Tate Scott, he was phenomenal at the play tonight. Three for three, three doubles. He killed the ball. And uh, heard him talking to you tonight. Nice young man. Glad I got to meet him finally uh, this season. Twin brother named Ty. Hopefully I'll get to see him the next time. And Andrew Tom alone, his son. He actually uh, was one for three at the plate tonight. And he pitched a no-hit shutout. It just don't get any better than that. Congra uh, congratulations, Mr. Tom Alonis. And congratulations, East Carter, 9-4 and four on the season. The East will play Friday here at home, I believe, and host the Boyd County Lions, the number one team in the coaches poll in the Kentucky High School Athletic Association, I believe. Uh, Morgan County, 3-8 and eight on the season. Uh, they'll live to play again and be right back out. The sun will come up. That's the best thing about baseball. You have, a, you have an off night, and you get to come right back out and play again, and that's why we love baseball final score east carter 11 morgan county nothing for jeff Irwin. i'm dicky tiller good night everybody thank you for watching another east carter raiders broadcast live on cool tv this broadcast of east carter raiders baseball has been an exclusive sports presentation of the full hit sports network and cool tv